with KHO and two weather, Justin Cruz. For the next 48 hours, we still will have our sunshine, but there's also a increase in trade wind speed as well as a surge of windward showers. We will take a look at that. Just a little bit wet and blustery over the next few days. Other than that, we do have a moderate chance of strong winds, and we're talking about winds up to 30 miles per hour. Storm-free conditions continue. We're not going to see any storms through the end of the month, probably even beyond that, and wind speeds are going to peak tomorrow and Thursday up to 30 miles per hour. After Thursday, for example, Friday into the weekend, wind speeds will decrease but will remain trades this weekend. There's also an area of uh, rain clouds that is upstream of the islands, and that's going to feed pretty much consistent windward showers from this point forward. Now, we've already seen an increase in showers tonight, but I think the larger increase is going to be tomorrow afternoon, evening, and Thursday morning when things could get quite wet. And with those trade wind speeds as they are, some of those showers may blow leeward. Look at all that rain just to the north of Maui County. There's quite a bit of windward showers. Some of this will overshoot Oahu and move to Kauai. Some of it will go over Oahu, so a wet night ahead. Similar to what we saw last night, here are those showers for Oahu, more offshore, and on the way, kind of just riding in with those trade winds. We've seen a few more showers kind of sink into Maui County itself, and the Big Island, even though there was consistent showers for Hilo, it's not as wet right now, but that should change and increase overnight as these rendans move through. 2 to 4 for the west and the south shore, north and east at 3 to 5. Statewide small craft advisory with the windiest and the wettest days out of the next seven being Wednesday and Thursday. For the weekend, though, we dry up with lower rain chances. We will retain our trade winds, but it will not be as blustery.